Breaking, look where Vegas shooter's girlfriend just showed up after cops released her, truth is out. The world is reeling this morning after waking up to the gruesome news and footage from Las Vegas overnight when a gunman committed a premeditated massacre on country concert goers. The shooter, 64-year-old Stephen Paddock, is dead and investigators were initially looking for his girlfriend as a person of interest. It took some time in finding her since she wasn't near the scene, but were able to locate her and have since released her following questioning. There was no initial word about where Las Vegas police tracked down 62-year-old Marilou Daniette, just that they had found her and didn't believe she was involved in her boyfriend's massive attack. However, now, she's now resurfaced somewhere else and it's not looking too good for her and everyone wondering what the motive behind this attack is. Paddock reportedly checked into the Mandalay Bay Hotel on Thursday three days before opening fire on hundreds of Route 91 music festival attendees. Police uncovered at least 10 rifles in Paddock's room, who was dead of a suspected self-inflicted gunshot wound when SWAT blew his hotel room door open during the shooting, Fox News reported. Danny was nowhere to be found, but some of her identification was discovered on her dead boyfriend who had used her information to check into the hotel. It's odd that he would have her information considering she should have needed it to get to where she was later found. Although investigators cleared Danny of involvement in this horrific attack, there's a new round of questioning that needs to happen. It was reported that she was abroad at the time Paddock allegedly just snapped and committed this carefully planned a Torishiapis act. Now, the Islamic State is claiming responsibility for his actions, saying that he converted to Islam several months ago. The Independent and Yahoo News are both reporting. While it seems that this is a way for the terrorist organization to take the glory of this mass murder, Mary Lou's whereabouts may have provided the photo proof to back this statement up. Perhaps Paddock beat them to the punch and they wanted the notoriety for it, so claimed it as one of their own. However, a photograph of the shooter's girlfriend just surfaced showing what could be the connection to the claim. While Mara Lou is a free woman right now and no longer suspected of involvement, her recent trip to the United Arab Emirates in Dubai is raising some eyebrows. It's not indicated when the photo was taken but appears to be recent, causing some to question if this trip was around the time that her boyfriend and perhaps her converted to Islam. Police stated today that Mara Lou was out of the country when they located her after the shooting. It wasn't indicated where she was abroad when they held her for questioning which seems questionable in itself. Furthermore, to travel abroad, she'd need all manner of identification, some of which was found on her boyfriend in his hotel room. How she was able to get abroad is a little odd but perhaps the timing of her trip was no coincidence, either for her safety or for Paddock taking advantage of the time she was gone to commit the worst mass shooting in U.S. history. The 44-minute-long video released in May showed footage of the Las Vegas Strip from 2015, calling on its supporters to conduct attacks with knives and vehicles, everyday weapons that its supporters have already used many times in the West over the past several years, Newsweek reported. The footage also showed New York City and Washington, D.C. While they may not deserve credit for this massacre, the Vegas shooter should still be considered a terrorist, regardless. It's probably not a coincidence that he attacked a country music venue where there would undoubtedly be a disproportionate amount of Trump supporters. One of the performers on stage with Jason Aldean when shots started firing, had already received death threats for supporting President Trump. Paddock's brother, who lives in Florida, says that he and his family are completely dumbfounded by what he did. Eric Paddock claims in an interview with the Daily Mail that Stephen had no political or religious affiliations, he also admitted that living on the opposite coast, he hadn't kept in contact with his brother, 